we'll meet for another book call. Um, basically, these are my, this is my July book call, but I'm just going to be posting it a little late this month. Um, next up is Totally Joe by James Howe. Um, basically, I only really wanted to buy this book for the cover. <laughs> I'm a huge Converse fan, as a lot of people probably already know, and David had already read it and he just said that it would be something that's really up my street. So, it's basically a companion to The Misfits, so I don't really know if you're supposed to read the first one. Um, the Misfits first to understand it, but, or if you can read it. I think David read it himself, so I think he can read it. Um, I don't know if it's something I'm going to be desperate to read, I just really like the cover to be quite honest. Rules of Attraction by Simone Elkilis. Um I've read Perfect Chemistry already and loved it. It was great. It's not something that's usually up my street or anything like that, but it was totally... I don't know, I really just really enjoyed it, so I decided to get a second one to see if it's any good. Um, but the first one really has high expectations, so I don't know if this one will be much good. Or, but it's basically, it's not the same characters as the same one. These characters were in the first one, not the main characters. It's Alex's brother, and I think it's his girlfriend that's mentioned a few times in it. I'm not entirely sure. But um, yeah, it sounds really good. Next up is Inside Out by Maria V. Snyder. Um, I've been wanting some of her work for quite a while now. Um, I know a lot of people in that night absolutely love her. Uh, I'm not her biggest fan, not of her work. I've never um, read any of her work. But I just one time I was listening to an interview with her and just a few things she said just really hacked me off. So it put me off getting her stuff. But then at the same time, the fact that so many people talk about this novel in particular and saying it's so good just made me decide that maybe I should just give it a go. Give it another chance and see if her work's better than her. Um, so yeah, so got inside out and outside in. Next up I got 13 Little Blue Envelopes by Maureen Johnson. Um, I've already started reading it, I'm not very much far into it as you can see. Um, but I'm quite enjoying it so far, it's quite fun and catchy. Um, the reason I wanted this was I'm on Maureen Johnson's Twitter and she's quite funny. Like. She's one of the few people whose Twitters I'll actually go on to on a regular basis to look at because I just find what she says is quite charming and funny. So I thought if that's just what an everyday garble is, then what would a novel be like? And I have I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this, I'll be honest. I've heard a lot of people saying it's basic, it's not very good. And then I've heard a lot of people rave about it saying it's amazing, so I'll give it a go. But so far I'm really enjoying it. But yeah, it's basically about this girl, Jenny, and she, her auntie has left her 13 little blue envelopes, and each of them has a rule to follow in it, or something to go and do. Like, the first one is, go to London, no questions asked, just do it. Here's your, ba here's your bank card, on you go. And it's quite fun. It is quite fun. I'm enjoying it so far. So I'm only like 30 pages in, so I've not really got much in opinion yet, but... I'm enjoying it. Next up, I got Corsets and Clockwork, um, which David got gave me, um, which is 13 steampunk romances. Um, it's got Maria V. Snyder, Kirsten White, Michael Scott, Tessa Grattan, Dear Reeves. Um, there's quite a lot of people on it, uh, Tiffany Trent. So I quite enjoy, I've already read quite a lot of these novels works like Dear Reeves and um, Tessa Grattan and stuff so I, I do enjoy some of the few works so I'm looking forward to seeing what this is. I've never actually read any steampunk um, stuff before, um, I've heard a lot of people talking about it but I've never actually read any myself so I'm not really sure what to expect from it but I'll give it a go. If, when I'm, my oh, my favourite classic book is Alice in Wonderland and I've wanted this book for so ages but there's just been other books that I've bought over the, over it because it was quite at the time it was quite expensive and every time I get to David's room and I see this book at the top of his shelf I always pull it out and I was oh I need to buy this I need to get it I need to get it so I eventually caved well I'm down in price as well so I was like I'll just get it and I'm so pleased I did because I absolutely love the cover of it and it's basically Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and other stories and by Lewis Carroll and it's just really the cover. The cover is stunning. That's the front. 
and then you've got the back and it's all like gold outlined and it's illustrated as well and it's just it's I, don't, I just love it David's got a lot of these books in the big hardback but Alice in Wonderland I absolutely love Alice in Wonderland so I'm quite glad I got it next set of books I got are We're Sent For Review we've not got that many this month um, well we did get quite a lot but a lot of them you know neither two is want to read to be quite honest some of the people send some complete garbage, um, which tend to just get put on the bottom shelf and forgot about. Um, but then they still send some really good ones. So a few months back they sent um, Forsaken the Demon Trappers by Janet Oliver, um, and I read it, and they've now sent Forbidden the Demon Trappers. I wasn't a huge fan of Forsaken. Um, and for me it was just because it was like a really really long prologue of what's to come in this book so even though I didn't like Forsaken that much I just think I think I'm going to really enjoy this one because she's left it built up for this book well I felt she had um, so I'm quite looking forward to finding out what happens the only thing I'm not looking forward to is in the last one there was a potential love square and love triangles sometimes bother me so adding a fourth into that I don't know if I'm going to like that but I'm going to read it and see Wither by Lauren De Stefano, and this is a Chemical Garden trilogy and I've already started it and I must say I'm completely loving it and I'm only like 50 odd pages in but it's 50 pages it's completely got me hooked basically it's about this girl whose name is Rhyme and it's kind of set, it's set in the future, it's a dystopian novel, it's set in the future where there's been a lot of DNA genetic tests done and instead of improving gen DNA they've made it worse and the average life expectancy for a female is 20 years and for a male is 25 and because of this there's usually people stole, girls stole to be married off to husbands to basically give birth to children so they can be tested on and different things and it's basically about this girl Ryan who is trying to fight this system because she's starting to like somebody else in the household that she's been kidnapped and put to and at the same time trying to avoid the clutches of her husband's father who's a bit of an arse um, but yeah so I'm only 50 pages in but that's just from the back of the cover as well so it's so good so far it's just the wording of it's lovely Next up, um, we got The Ice Age by Kristen Reed. Um, a girl, teenage girl, she's smart, funny and hopeful. She thinks she knows herself, knows what she wants and knows how to get it. He's an older man, old enough in fact to be her father, but he's not. As the pair drive aimlessly across America, they form an unlikely relationship, one they both know that can't last forever. Told in her unique and seductive voice, this is the story of their encounter. So... I don't know. I might like it, I might not. I'll get back to you on that one. So that's me guys. Um, hopefully I'll have a few other book calls soon and thanks for watching. Bye!